हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू येट अनदर सेशन ऑफ मास्टर मीन्स पी वाई क्यू बाई नेक्स्ट आई एस टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक फ्रॉम यूर जी एस पेपर थ्री ऑफ सी एस सी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन सो द क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द क्वेश्चन इज इट इज अ लेंदी वन वट इज द मेन टास्क ऑफ इंडिया थर्ड मून मिशन विच कुड नॉट बी अचीव इन इट्स अर्लियर मिशन दिस इज वन पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सेकेंड इज लिस्ट द कंट्रीज दैट हैज अचीव दिस टास्क दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इंट्रोड्यूस द सब सिस्टम इन द स्पेस क्राफ्ट लॉन्च दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट एंड एक्सप्लेन द रोल ऑफ द वर्चुअल लॉन्च कंट्रोल सेंटर एट द विक्रम सारा भाई स्पेस सेंटर विच कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द सक्सेसफुल लॉन्च फ्रॉम श्री हरिकोटा दिस इज फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दिस इज द फिफ्टीन मार्कर एंड यू नीड टू राइट इट इन टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन एंड सबमिटेड इट फॉर फ्री इवेल्युएशन नाउ लेट स्टेट अवे स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन सो इन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन वट इज इट इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एम्बिशियस प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंडिया इट इज पार्ट ऑफ मून मिशन ऑफ इसरो ऑल राइट दिस वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री फ्रॉम सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर सिचुएटेड एट श्री हरिकोटा सच मिशन सच मून मिशन और स्पेस मिशन दीज हैव ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एनहेंसिंग अवर स्पेस कैपेबिलिटीज डूइंग मोर रिसर्च एनहेंसिंग अवर टेक्नोलॉजी कैपेबिलिटीज ऑल राइट सो दीज आर द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अवर स्पेस मिशन एंड इन चंद्रयान थ्री ऑल्सो सच ऑब्जेक्टिव आर इंक्लूडेड वी विल डिस्कस इट इन फर्दर ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ दिस डिस्कसिंग दिस क्वेश्चन सो हेयर इन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट यू कैन राइट अबाउट दिस नाउ वी विल मूव टू द body part here the first part of the question is main task of india's third moon mission which could not be achieved in its earlier missions so what were the earlier missions earlier missions were chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 so we will discuss little bit about chandrayaan 1 and 2 chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 so in chandrayaan 1 it was launched in 2008 it consisted of a probe and a orbiter so what happened in it it orbited around 100 km above lunar surface all right and the probe its probe hit the surface of moon also but it just hit it didn't do the rovering part over the moon surface that's why it was just a hitting on the moon the crater over which it hit was called shackleton shackleton plate crater and later it was named our after it was named jawahar point all right these are some basic things about chandrayaan 1 which you can mention all right and it is different from uh, chandrayaan 3 because it was not having any rover all right so this was chandrayaan 1 next is chandrayaan 2 it was launched in 2019 it had a lander all right lander and rover but we didn't achieve its target it didn't achieve its target because the lander crashed it was crashed when it was deviated from its intended trajectory so uh, we did not get success in this mission then came chandrayaan 3 so we achieved some basic objectives in chandrayaan 3 which we didn't achieve in the previous missions so we will we will uh, discuss about those targets which we achieved these are basically i'll uh, write again these were we did the soft landing soft landing all right soft landing on south pole of moon india was the first country which did the soft landing on south pole of the moon all right um, other three countries have achieved the soft landing also but on the south pole of moon india was the first country to do that all right so first thing which uh, which was done differently in chandrayaan 3 was the soft landing part second thing is roving our rover did the roving part on the lunar surface that was not done in chandrayaan 1 or 2 all right and the third part is conducting in situ experiments all right that is on site experiments so these are the actions these were the things which make made chandrayaan 3 different from chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 obviously chandrayaan 3 was applauded worldwide so we achieved huge success in chandrayaan 3 so first part of the question is addressed in this way next part of the question is list the countries it is asking about countries which have uh, achieved this task before also so we will cover the countries one by one so countries which did this was 
फर्स्ट इज रशियन यूनियन रशियन यूनियन डिज डिड दिस इन 1959 लूना नाइन मिशन ऑल राइट यू नीड टू जस्ट मेमोराइज दीज नेम्स लूना नाइन मिशन ऑफ रशियन यूनियन इन 1959 इट डिड दिस सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग पार्ट सेकेंड इज यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका इट डिड द सेम इन 1966 एंड द मिशन वॉज सर्वेयर सर्वेयर वन Later on, in other missions also, it has achieved the same thing. But the first mission was Surveyor One. One peculiar thing, but USA did was in Apollo Eleven. Apollo Eleven. It did. Um, it was a manned mission. Manned mission in the sense that a crew landed on the lunar surface. So that was a huge achievement. All right. So second was uh, USA. Third is China. China in two thousand thirteen. In two thousand thirteen, Chang'e mission. All right, Chang'e three mission. So this was the uh, mission of China, which did the uh, did the soft landing. So before India, these three countries achieved the same task of soft landing on the moon surface. All right, now let's move to the third part of the question. Introduce the subsystem in the spacecraft launched. Let's see it. Subsystems in the spacecraft. All right, let's see it. so basically broadly these are divided into two first is structural and second is electronic subsystem all right so we will see it in a broader way because it is asked as a 15 marker and you need to write in 250 words you can't go much in detail of the parts and that will become very technical so broadly we will see what were the subsystem sub parts all right so in the structural part there were three propulsion module all right propulsion module second is lander you know about it vikram lander and third one is our rover pragyan you know about it all right so we will see these one by one also so for c structural this propulsion propulsion module propulsion module what was its work Propul propulsion module it carried lander and rover carried lander and rover system lander and rover were together all right this system was carried by this propulsion module and this propulsion module used to provide uh, generate power generate power and provide power to the whole system all right so this was its broad work so propulsion module is covered in this way next is lander in the structural part we are covering propulsion module we have already covered now see the lander lander is vikram lander you know this thing all right it did the soft landing soft landing on the south pole south pole of lunar surface all right of uh, moon so soft landing was done here it carried some scientific instrument scientific instruments uh, you uh, you can memorize this if you can so basically four are there one is rambha we will cover what were uh, what these uh, parts did or what they measured so basically rambha was for near surface plasma next is cha ste all right these are for measuring for observing the thermal properties thermal properties on the lunar surface all right uh, next is ilsa it was for measuring seismic activities seismic activities on the moon all right and the next one is lra lra it was for passive experiment system it was a passive experiment system so these are some broader uh, sub parts of the lander which you can memorize all right for your information next in line is we have discussed propulsion module we have discussed lander now we will discuss the rover so rover was pragyan all right pragyan you know this it conducted experiment and it collected data data for what it collected data for further studies 
all right so these are the this propulsion module plus lander plus rover these were structural subsystems all right now let's see the electronic subsystems in the electronic subsystems what do you think electronic subsystems what it can consists of basically in the mission mainly two things are involved in the electronic subsystem one is communication system communication needs to be made between the spacecraft and people on the ground people on the earth all right the scientist on the earth then that communication needs to be maintained for sharing the information for doing the analysis all right so this communication system is of electron is an electronic subsystem next is navigation system navigation system of the spacecraft lander rover all right all these things so these are the subsystems which are asked in the question subsystems in the spacecraft launched all right now let's see the next part of the question the next part of the question is explain the role of virtual launch so, uh, control center virtual launch control center it is situated at vikram uh, vikram sarabhai space center the mission chandrayaan 3 is was launched from satish dhawan space center situated situated at sri harikota all right in andhra this uh, vikram sarabhai space center it is located at thumba and it is in kerala so how these two are related and how it is how it is providing uh, insight into the, the this uh, successful launch of Uh, Chandrayaan three mission. We need to cover it. So we will see what it did, what the work it did, VLCC, what it did. So let's see one by one. First is it is lead unit of lead unit of ISRO for launch vehicles. Launch vehicles are basically managed at this Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Launch vehicle used in Chandrayaan three mission is LVM three. so it was also managed here in vlcc so this this acted as lead unit of isro all right second thing is it remotely check out systems remotely check out systems like how the mission is operating how the ground work is going on all right all the analysis all the management kind of thing that are also done here at the virtual launch control center all right it do some surveys also surveys in the sense that everything is in its place in case of emergency it can uh, it can also abort the mission so this is the this is the work done by virtual launch control center another work which is uh, which it does is real time monitoring real time monitoring of the spacecraft it is also done by virtual launch control center all right also in the mission various departments various other systems are involved so it also does the work of coordination among as different systems and departments already all right so this coordination work is also done by this virtual launch control center so in a way you can say overall management is seen by this body this center so it has a pivotal role to play in the launch of chandrayaan 3 all right so in this way we have covered all the four part of the question now let's move to the conclusion part in the conclusion part you can write about see india has achieved success in chandrayaan 3 mission so success in such mission has definitely elevate india's role india's status in the uh, global world all right we are we are encouraging our youth also in to enter the space uh, research and a uh, private sector also we are uh, we are uh, trying to attract private sector also toward our space research so globally india is india is enhancing its its level in the space studies space exploration space exploration all right and obviously it will attract more of of our children and our youth toward space studies so we will be having more scientists in the near future all right so in the conclusion part you can write about such things that how how the students how the children how the youth can be attracted towards a science all right in this way we can conclude the answer